Okay, so now we're in number six. So number six, to find the inverse of the function, the function is wx, w of x is equivalent to x plus four divided by x minus six. Here's the solutions on how I solve. But the first thing that you're going to change is the w of x to y. And then interchange it with x. And then all you have to do is to look at this. But remember, we have a problem. Since our y is on the denominator, what do we do about that? We have to multiply the denominator so that you can bring it to the surface. Right? So multiplying y minus 6 on both sides, left and right. On the right side, the y minus 6 cancels. While on the left side, the y minus 6 still remains. And then you multiply y minus 6 times x. y times x gives you xy. 6 times x, negative 6x gives you negative 6x. Right? So it should look like that. It's equivalent to y plus 4. And then, this is another problem. Because this time, in this situation, we already have two variables. So if we have two variables, we need to bring one y to the other side, all the y's onto one side, and all the x's on the other side of the equation. So we have to bring y to one side, like that. So bring y to one side, we subtract y here, and bring it to the left side, and we have xy minus y, just like that. And then our x will be brought here. So plus 6x, just like that. Pero, I factored out the y bar and the my rapan. That's why I brought the y's in the first place all together and then I factored this out. So that it can become 1y. Because you have to remember, we, if you want to solve for y all by itself, you can't have two y's. To make things simpler, you need to factor out the y. Kaya nga, diba remember, sinet ko yung y dito, diba? So, ang y, diba remember, dito yung y, diba? Dito sa kabilang dulo. I have to bring the y here to the left side. But how? I subtracted y. Here. Diba? Nakita mo yung red? And then you, and then I, and then remember, thanks to commutative property of addition, I bring this negative y here and this negative 6x here. And then, ang ginawa ko sa y dito, finactor out ko. So when I factor out the y, it's just x minus 1 na lang. Just like that. And then, minus 6 is equivalent to 4. Yung 6x yun ang dito, sinip ko sa kabilang dulo. So therefore, it's y times x minus 1 is equivalent to 6x plus 4. Dividing both sides of the equation by x minus 1, we get the answer of the inverse function of 6x plus 4 divided by x minus 1. Now, to verify both of them are inverses, ito yun. Ito yung solution sheet na ginawa ko. This is what I did. Diba remember the original equation? This is x, diba? This is x. Now, all I did was this. First, I found the LCD of the 2. To find the LCD of 4, we have to multiply this side by x minus 1. So, we find the LCD here. Remember, applying our rational functions. What is the LCD when we add the two polynomials? The LCD in this one is x minus 1. So, multiplying both sides by x minus 1, on the left side, the x minus 1s cancel. And then on the right side, you have 4 times x minus 1. Just like that, diba? So, it goes like this. Ito yun. So, 4 times x is 4x. Minus, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Diba? Just like that. And then, cross out whatever is identical. 4 plus 4. Plus negative 4 negative, is 0. 6x plus 4x equals 10. 10x. On the other side, we have negative 6. So, what is the LCD? Yes, again, it's, it's x minus 1. That is your LCD. So multiplying both sides, so multiplying negative 6 by the LCD, remember on the left side, the x minus 1 cancels, and then on the right side, we have, ano yun? x minus, see, negative 6 times x minus 1. So ito yung ginawa ko. The 6 plus 4 still remains, and then we have 6x minus 1. Negative 6x, and then positive 6. Because negative times negative yields to positive. Cross out all the 6x's, and then we're just left to positive 10. Then, divide this the numerator and this the denominator. So now we're left with 10x divided by 10, which simplifies to x. So therefore, this is an inverse function. You can only do one way, but if you want to try the other way, pwede pa rin. I wish I could try the other way, but I don't have time na talaga. So, never mind if that's the only way and how I can solve for the inverse of the function. Alright? So now you already know what to do if in case you have two variables. Kung meron kang dalawang variable, you have to bring the variable in the denominator to the numerator. You do that to a concept called cross-multiplication. So that this side cancels and then you're just on the other side.
And the next thing you do, you interchange y and x together. Set the y's to one side of the equation. Next step, when you have all the y's set in one equation, factor out your y para maging 1y na siya. And then divide by the quantity to leave y all by itself. And that's your answer. Then to double check, if you want to find the LCD, you have to multiply the added or diminuent by the denominator so that you can find the LCD. And for example, the remember you have Three halves plus one. You might remember you have to find the LCD, which is two. So one times two is two, the back, and that becomes five, five halves, or which you call an two and one half, the back. Because three halves is the same as one half, one and one half. But plus two becomes three, two and one halves. So yan, the back. Can you find the LCD? Like for example, you might remember the LCD, three half and then plus one. That's 2. Diba? So you find the LCD. Diba? Remember this is 2 over 1. Finding the LCD, we have 3 and then 4. And that becomes 7 over 2, which is the same as 3 and 1 halves. Get it? Okay, that's what I did here. 3 and 1 halves did. Okay, your goal is to find the LCD. Multiply it by the LCD and then, yun nga, you're on your way. So okay, it's the same thing what you did here. So like for example, 3, have the, three halves times 2. You can change that to, what is the LCD? 2. 3 halves is 3 halves. 2 times 2 is 4. Diba? So, 3 times 2 times 2, that's 4, which is 7 over halves. So, yun, that's how you that, that's how you do it. And sometimes, for new students, this might baffle you, pair with constant practice, you can. That's why, just what I said, in the first, in these three problems, I have two variables, one in the numerator, and one on the denominator. But don't worry, I will teach you how to step. I will show, show you how to solve for it step by step. So now let's go to number 7. In number 7, we have 4x plus 7 divided by x minus 7. How do you solve for the LCD? How do you solve for the inverse? Again, the rule stays the same. You have to interchange that to y. And that becomes y is equivalent to 4x plus 7 divided by the quantity of x minus 7. The next thing that we did is we, multi we interchange x and y's. And then our goal is to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is y minus 7. First thing we need to do while we're having two variables, we need to bring the denominator to the, the variable that's in the denominator to the numerator area. We do that through a concept called cross, called cross multiplication. And it should look like this, y minus 7 times x. So this becomes xy minus 7x is equivalent to 4y minus se plus 7. Now the, y, the 4y, we bring it to one side of the equation, and then you 7x, you bring it to the other side of the equation. Now we can factor out some y's. The next step is to factor. Diba yung memory sabi ko sa'yo? If you have two, if you have variable in the denominator and in the numerator, the thing that you're going to do to the variable in the denominator is to bring it to the numerator on both sides. And now that you have the y on the numerator, on the left side, you have to bring the other y to the numerator. And then after that, factor out the y. So factoring out the y... Diba, I wrote it like this, diba? 4y minus x plus xy minus 7x. Factoring out the y, we get y plus negative 4 plus x. And then you negative 7, I bring it to the positive side. So that becomes positive 7, diba? And then divide by, by negative 4 plus x, that is our y. That's the value of y. But actually, you can factor out 7x plus 7 into 7 times x plus 1, all divided by x minus 4. Or negative 4 plus x. But I think it would be more appropriate if we were to write it as x plus negative 4. Para hindi kayo mahirapan. And that's the inverse of the function. Pero let's check. To check, do you remember this what we did? We put this inverse 4 times 7 times x plus 1 quantity. Divide by x plus minus 4 plus 7. And this what we did. First, do you remember we multiply everything there? And that will give you 28. Do you remember 7x plus 7? That's 7x plus 7, diba? And then multiply it, we have 28x plus 28 by 4. Diba? Just like that. So, ang ginawa ko dito, 4 times 7 becomes 28. And 28 times x is 28x. 28 times 1 equals 28. Just like that. And then remember, we need to add that by 7. But since our denominator is negative 4x or x minus 4, we have to multiply that by the LCD. What do you think is the LCD in this situation? The x minus 4. 
or negative 4 plus x. So we multiply it by 4, 4 x minus 4. And that is our LCD. 7 times x is 27x. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. Then we just add. The 28, the way remember it goes like this, right? 28 and negative 28 cancels. And then we have 7, 28 plus 7x is equivalent to positive 35x. On the bottom side, we have this one. So our LCD is still the same. X minus 4. Diba? X minus 4. Diba? So we multiply negative 7 times X minus 4. Negative 7 times X is negative 7X. Negative 7 times 4 is positive 28. And now we have 7X times 7X plus 7, just like that. This is on the numerator side and this is on the denominator. So 7X plus 7. Then the boy members, negative 7 minus X, then this one. Actually, to be honest, this, this positive 7 that I got here, this is on the numerator for multiplying 7 times 7x. Diba? And then 7x plus 1, that's at ano yun, 7, which is here. And then we have this one. The negative 7x, what we did was I multiplied by negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 4 to give you positive 28. Negative 7 times 7 times x is here. Then all the 7x's cancel. And now what we just left is 28 plus 7 equals 35. X and 7 plus 28 is 35. So that's what I did here. Ito yung solution sheet na ginawa ko. Diba? That's why I multiplied. 7 times x plus 1 quantity minus 7 times x minus 4 quantity. Just like that, you know, solution ko. And that's when I come up with that answer. Diba? Then we combine like terms. We're supposed to get, ano yun? Yes, so that's the answer. And then the 7x is cancelled and we get something like this. And 35x divided by 35, the 35 is cancelled, which just leaves our answer to x. So therefore, that is the inverse of the function, and we are correct. If you want to check on both sides, but it might take lots of time if I were to do that. Now, another practice, we have number 38, or item 8, we have x, 8x, plus 4, divided by the quantity of negative x plus 6. How do you solve for the inverse of the function? You know, again, you know the same rules implied. What's the first step? Interchange the r of x into... Y. Very good. Just like that. And then what do you do to the X's and the Y's? Interswap. Very good. Just like that. So X becomes 8Y plus 4. All divided by negative Y minus 6. Now what do you do? Very good. You have to bring the, denom the variable that's in the denominator to the numerator to make it easier and solvable. So multiplying both sides by the quantity of negative y times negative 6. So that on the right side, it cancels. On the left side, you have negative y times 6 times x. Just like that. Diba? And then what do you do now? Factor, right? Multiply. Ne x times negative y is negative xy. Negative 6 times x is negative x. Now you're just left with something like this. What do you do? What do you do now? Bring the y to the other side. So that becomes negative xy minus 8 is equivalent to 6x plus 4. Leave all the x's on one side and all the y's on the other side. Just like that. And now what do we do here? Since we have brought all the y's to one side, what's our next step? If a factor na namin. Very good. Bakit kailangan tayo if a factor? So that you can get the one, the, the individualistic y. And that is, the way we factor out y, y times what gives you negative x, y. y times negative x, very good. And y times what gives you negative 8y, ne negative 8, very good. It's equivalent to 6x plus, 40, plus 4. Now dividing both, now, if you want to get y by old self, y by old self, what do we do? Divide by the quantity of negative x minus 8. And that's what you get. So the inverse of the function is 
6x plus 4 divided by negative x minus 8. Or you can simply factor this out furthermore to make it 2 times 3x plus 2, all divided by negative 1 times x plus 8. Or you don't just have to write negative 1, pero if you were to write it, pwede pa rin. But either way, it still works. Alright? So that's the inverse of the function. Now, let's verify if they're both inverses. So remember, our inverse function, 6x plus 4 divided by negative x minus 8. We input that to your original equation, which is x, 8x plus 4 divided by negative x minus 6. And you know what happens here? This implies the application of multiplying polynomials and fractions, diba? So now we have 8 times 6, diba? We work on the numerator side first. 8 times 6 equals 48x. 48x and then 8 times 4 is 32. Just like that. And then remember we have an LCD. So what do we do? To get the LCD, we multiply 4 times negative x times negative 8 plus minus 8. Diba? And then you do this little binomial. So just like that. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 8. Positive 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. Just like that. Diba? So 48x minus 4x equals 44x. The 32s are canceling. So goodbye. On the bottom hand side, we have negative 6x minus 4 divided by negative 8. You have 6x. You have 6x plus 4. That's not negative, but I do not know I put their negative. So we have we have 6x plus 4 minus, it's supposed to be positive pala, I'm so sorry. So that what's supposed to be, what's the answer? 6x plus 4 minus 6 times negative x minus 8, di ba? Doing that will give you 6x, wait lang ha. Doing this will give you 6x plus 4 minus 6 times x is negative 6x, right? Four, negative 6 times negative 8, positive 48. These guys cancel and we're and, and that is equivalent to 52. Actually, to be honest, um... Actually, we should be getting this answer. Because you know, remember. Positive 48 and that becomes positive 4. So that's what we're supposed to get. Ano yun? Positive 52 pala. So therefore, they're not inverses. Although I claim to myself that they are inverses pala. Pero side catch, they are not inverses. I do not know what happened. Did we, did we miss out a step? Parang we missed it out. At saka, in this problem, we got a bunch of negatives. So dapat ang gagawin na namin, we have to divide, we have to try again to see if we got the right answer. Kasi nga, the answer that we got here was not the right answer. Tsaka, we got negative. So, hindi pwede yan. Also, dapat kanina, sana dapat, we're supposed to get the right answer. Diba kanina, ang 32s dito ay nag-cancel out na. Tapos, yung 48x minus 4x is equivalent to negative 44x. 44x. So, hindi siya nag-check out. Maybe there's something wrong with the equation. Kaya, I'm just going to verify what is the problem. Diba remember kanina, 8 times 6 is 48x. 8 times 4 is 32. And then, multiply by negative x, we get negative 4x and negative 32. Ah, kaya pala. So that's supposed to be, ano yun? Negative 4x to give you 44x. Tapos this one, negative 32. So dapat we're supposed to get 44x. Diba? And then on the bottom side, we have positive 6 times plus 4 to give you, ano yun? And then negative 6 times x to give you a positive 6. That's supposed to be positive 6 again. 
positive 6 dapat to. Positive. Not negative. Positive dapat yan. So, positive to be 12x. Negative 6x times negative x becomes positive 12x. And the negative 6 times... Ah, positive 6x pala yun. 6x. So, tama nga, that's positive x. Positive 6x. Then, six, negative 6 times negative 8, that's positive 48. And now, all we have to do is to add the like terms. So, dapat we're supposed to get, we're supposed to get 12x. So, 12x dito, tapos dito sa taas, we're supposed to get 44. Teka, I think the solution did not seem right. Pero, uh, never mind na, basta what is important, never mind, we don't check on this one. But so what is important, we have already solved our answer. Pero, if I were to double check on that, I will update you na lang soon what is the right answer. If you are not a pro, just don't do this. Kasi nga, this only for math, only bets. But I think it's still easy naman. The only problem is, you might get baffled with a bunch of negatives in the way. Para hindi tayo sa inyo oras, let's move on to the last two problems na lang. Para mayos na yung plano, okay? Tsaka, di ba yung member sabi ko sa'yo, I know naman that you may need to double check if you need to find the answer, right? Kaya that's why nga nag-double check tayo and dapat the correct answer is supposed to be 6x plus 4. So kung, nag tayo, kung nagawa tayo yan, we're supposed to get the right answer although the negatives can be baffling. So that's positive 6x pala and the negative 6 times negative 8 that's supposed to be positive 48. So that's supposed to be 6x that's supposed to be 52. So dapat supposed to be ano yun? 12x plus 52. Then on the numerator, that's supposed to be 44x. Kaya mali yun. I do not know why they we come up with this answer. And I think they're not inverse functions at all. Although I just did this just to make the, the twist. So, yan. Next, let's go to number 9. 